it take so long to recover and start to get back? Did it shake your confidence, and was that a, and did it put a strain on your on your mind in terms of you know, am I going to get back to where I was? <laughs> Like you wouldn't believe, I said twice I'm gonna quit tennis. <laughs> um, but both officers saying that um, one, I won Cormier, and then I played really well in uh, San Diego. But you know, of course, you have doubts, especially because I wasn't, I wasn't really fit. I wasn't, I was so far from moving the way I was before. I didn't trust my knee. I didn't trust the, my abilities and. Then my fitness was improving, but it wasn't coming together on the on the match court, and I was putting a lot of pressure on myself as well, wanting to to play well in matches, having the expectations to, of my level what was before surgery, and I was just I remember after U.S. Open last year when I lost to Kudermetova first round, it was I played well, but in the end I lost, and I was like. You know what? If I don't, I give myself until Wimbledon next year to see if I can reach at least my same level than before. If not, I, it was too tough for me mentally to be on this on this average level. I would say for me because I know what I was capable of before.